us now is Lee Kemp. He is host of Redacted Tonight. And we play this game every Friday about this time where I get one word and he has to talk about it. So, <laughs> Expert interviewer. The, the word today is recession. Recession. Go. I don't know if you knew this, Rick, but apparently uh, that big recession everyone's been talking about, it's, it's just about ready to hit on her face. Mm. So it's very exciting. Did you just say that? And I Between did. you and Charlie did. Dubinsky saying you're screwed. <laughs> now, you know, it's, go on. It's getting dirty. <laughs> Listen, it's the end of Friday. This is what it's all about. Uh, so the signs are all there. It's, you know, and, and I know, and I know it'd be shocking. Many people are very shocked that, that, uh, mm -hmm. that the recession could be coming with a president that has just been a beacon of calm and stability. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. But, you know, the, the Dow has been plunging and going back and forth, the inverted yield curve. And, of course, Trump is running around and saying, oh, but unemployment is so low, it's low, unemployment is low. And, and, of course, that's ignoring many factors, such as the fact that most of my friends still live in their parents' garages, uh, you know, <laughs> which makes it very awkward when I go over there. But it's ignoring many factors, the people that aren't looking for work anymore, the fact that many of these jobs are $3 an hour for, you know, uh, uh, cleaning yeah. uh, uh, butt sweat it's... off of yoga mats or whatever yeah. crap jobs we have. Uh, but even if it is below 4%, that actually, Forbes was saying this, shows that a recession is coming. Because yeah. whenever it dips that low, it means the market is mature, and now we've got this bust coming. But, you know, all seriousness now. Well, let's be too All real. seriousness? <laughs> Do we need all seriousness? I'm still trying to get my head around butt sweat. I don't know. <laughs> Never quite heard those two words put together before. It's an interesting combination. Um, it's not just the fact that we're going to get a recession. Right. Recessions come, recessions go. It's that all the tools that usually are in place for getting out of a recession have already been dried up. They've Absolutely. been used up. we Absolutely. got a problem. And, and this is going to be crushing. I mean, you know, every one of these bust cycles we, get, we end up in, people, millions of people lose their homes, millions of people. The last economic crisis, the, the reports have come out 10,000 suicides connected to the last financial crisis. This destroys people's lives. And my question is, is this the best system we can come up with, one that every what, what, seven but, years? But see, but see, you, sir, have just asked the $60,000 question. Though after the recession, it'll be 60 cents. <laughs> and that is, is this going to shake us to the core? Is this going to make us re-examine what we're doing in this country and maybe change course somewhat? Maybe it's time. Right. Right. It should be, we should evolve and grow and, and you know. All you see right there, Isa will actually think wholeheartedly that he's going to bounce back after this recession. Uh, that's the mindset of Wisa, man. Uh, to rule forever, man. These big brained people should sit around and go, hey, maybe we can come up with a system that doesn't collapse every seven to ten years and, and, and kick everyone out of their homes. I mean, it, it's gut wrenching, and it, it, this can't be the best we have. Maybe the foundations of our system, where very few people are getting so much, where corporations are really running the government, which, by the way, is the definition of fascism, yep. maybe that needs to be refined somewhat. What do you think? Is that crazy? <laughs> well, that, 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 that's bizarre. I can't believe you would, would even say something on like, well, Cameras on, Rick. What are you thinking? No, of course we we live in an oligarchy that is run by this, this, this corporate state, inverted totalitarian, is what uh, Sheldon Wolin called it, because it's it's ruled by the anonymous corporate yeah. state, and they all do fine usually in these things, right? Because we bail them out, we come running to their aid while Main Street gets crushed. You and I could take this on the road. I guarantee you, we'd probably be able to get, make enough money to stop the recession. Yeah, you think? Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Maybe Travel no. Road what, show. What I like it. Lee Camp, your show's fantastic. Love Thank it. you. Tonight, people uh, can tune in. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, you haven't heard... Praise be to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Raka Kandash, and the Buhana to the Elden, Apostle of the Timestone, the peace, blessing, and salutation to the Akiyamu, pushing these truths to the four winds of the heaven. It's your brother, Yashaya, coming to you again with this... Uh, a precept to edify uh, the sheep, man. I will be reading from the book of Isaiah 24 and 20. Uh, and the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and it shall be removed like a cottage. And the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again, man. So this is mainly talking about your your three, but the fall of Esau and not to rise again, that was my point, man. 
this world or this this rulership man will fall man and not rise again man so you got Esau here sitting on this huge platform campaigning on how they will come back man how they will bounce back man and uh, as the scripture tell you Esau man is a proud man Esau is a proud man man he doesn't he doesn't see his fall man you got people saying the Edomite are clever and whatever man but this this people man they are wise but they don't have understanding man. <laughs> they are wise to do wicked man. <laughs> they don't have that understanding <coughs> you see this is Habakkuk 2 and 5 yeah so because he transgresses by wine man he's a philosophy man uh, Esau got his philosophy uh, where he is indoctrinated to think that he is God man uh, uh, this lesser Edomite were indoctrinated to see to, to think that they are inf- they, they are formidable and they can't fall, man. That is a transgression by wine, man. He's a philosophy, man. And his philosophy make him proud, man. And the proud goes before destruction, as you know. He's a proud man. Neza keeps at home who enlarges his desires hell, man. So he's the one to rule forever, man. He is not satisfied of the time he was given to rule, man. And that's why Isa wants to box with Yahawashai when he comes back, man. <laughs> you see, you see, you want to box back, to box with Yahusha. That's mean he don't have the understanding, man. He don't have the basic understanding, and the best basic understanding is to fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha to keep his commandment and not to box with him. Man. That's why Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha is coming to fuck this devil, man. Who enlarges desires hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations and heaps unto him all people. Eh? Even is a great king, King Solomon, man. He told you, man, what you needed to do, man. You needed to keep the commandment of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. That's why I told you, Esau don't have understanding. He is wise, but he don't have understanding of basic things like keeping the commandment, fearing Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's why Esau wanted to box with Yahweh Shai, man. And you got people who actually think. The white man is not Esau, man. This is Ecclesiastic 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandment, for he is a whole duty of man. For this is a whole du- a whole for this is a whole duty of man. For for God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret secret thing. Whether it be good or whether it be evil. So Esau don't have the fear <coughs> of the Lord, man. He don't keep his commandment. So Esau don't have understanding, man. <laughs> he is wise without understanding. So to keep with really Esau is an empty shell, man. Empty shell. Obadiah 1 and 3. The pride of thy heart have deceived thee, those that dwell in the crypt of the rock, whose habitation is high, man. Esau is on a high horse, man. Esau actually thinks that <laughs> he will bounce back, man, after, the, after this recession, man. See? Whose habitation is high, that says in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground, man. Amen. And you got this lesser Edomite who don't have a clue on what is going on. They don't even understand that we are the true Hebrew Israelites, like the elite do, man. They have that, that pride, man. They are riding on the same bus with the elite. 
on it plied and what they don't know is they, the elite have sold them man they have they have accumulated all the riches man and they are going to amba, to amba on them man and, and, and they cause this recession to come man. you see let's go let's go and see how Isaiah have to say about these devils man these devils <coughs> this is Isaiah 14 and 4 that though shall take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say how has the oppressor seized the golden seized man this is talking about the downfall of Israel man <laughs> The Lord has broken the staff of the wicked and the sceptre of the rulers, man. The sceptre, what the sceptre means, man, the kingdom, man. Rulership and power, man. The Lord will break the, the, the power of this hidden might, man. Verse 6. He who smote the people in lust with a continual stroke, he has ruled the nation in anger, is persecuted and non hindered, man. That's talking about Israel, man. Verse 7. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet, they break forth into sin, man. <clears throat> so the whole race will break forth into sin when this devil come down, man. And this is the last lap for them, man. And they don't have a clue, man. But some window might have not seen, man. Some window might, they, they, they are seeing, they are, they are sniffing something coming, man. Verse 8. Yeah, the fig tree rejoice at thee, and the said of Lebanon say, Since thou art laid down, no fear has come against us. A hell from beneath is moved for thee. To meet thee at the coming, man. For when he shall fall this time, this time hell will meet hell will meet him, man. What is hell, man? A, a harsh condition, man. Being the lowest in the in the society, man. <laughs> so that's what is coming to this devils, man. Even all the chief one of the earth, it has raised up from thee their throne, all the king of the nation. All they shall speak and say unto thee, art thou also become weak as we, art thou became like unto us, thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vial, the worm is spread under thee, and the worm covers thee, the noise of thy vial, man. the joy in which Esau is living, man, I think that he rebounds back and everything, man. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, man, this, this wicked elite, man. As a Luciferian, as a light barrier on the left hand side, man. The sun of the morning, how at so cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nation. For though he has said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the star of God, I will sit as upon the mount of the congregation in the side of the north, man. I will ascend above the height of the, height of the cloud, I will be like the most high, man. So you got Esau thinking that he is God, you know, yes, man. Even this lesser you know, might deep down in the subconscious mind, they think that they will rule forever, man. They think that they are gods, man. And, 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 and the so-called Jesus is white. So they have the mandate to rule forever, man. And they are waiting for that sweet Jesus to come to continue their rulership, man. So they think they don't have to pay for slavery, they don't have to pay for anything, they don't have to pay for spreading HIV to other people, they don't have to pay for ruling the, the, the other nation in lust, they don't have to pay for anything, man. They are just here, after seven days the recession come and go, after seven days the recession come and go, and their kingdom keep on evolving, <coughs> evolving. that's what they are thinking, man. But that ain't gonna happen, that say Yahweh, man. This time, man, they are fall come eh, when the men of the Lord are in the street prophesying, man. So this fall will be hard on Israel, man. Eh, eh, the kingdom of Israel will be turned into hell, man. Eh, that says the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, man. Eh, with this eh, eh, short impromptu, I wish you brothers, <coughs> I hope you brothers are edified. On to the next. Shalom.